Hello, I'm here today to show you Nano Stream Cloud. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics. Don't worry, there are plenty of robust features to explore at a later time. Let's get started. First, we will need to log on. We can use the Bento account that we created in the previous streaming video. In this video, we will be talking about ingest security via custom web hook. This means that you can limit the ability to publish to only the users and sources that are controlled by your organization. At a technical level, our webhook technology calls your organization's hosted service for verification of the ingest stream. It's important to note that this will require setting up your own service and is a bit more technical than we will cover in this video. Like the playback security token, there are also two different ways to create a webhook. You can create one via our developer API or by setting it up from the dashboard. For the purposes of this video, we are going to use the Bento dashboard. Once on the Bento dashboard, you can browse to the organization section and scroll down to the custom webhook area to set one up. Now we can simply click create webhook. For the name, we want to make sure to assign it to a domain we control. For this tutorial, we are going to use https colon slash slash nanocosmos.de slash hook. It's important to note when publishing a new stream, it will call your webhook. This means your service needs to be active to approve the live stream. It also affects all streams and could cause service interruption if configured incorrectly. Now we can simply click Submit, and we will have access to our new webhook. Although using the webhook is outside the scope of this video, feel free to head over to the developer documentation page related to custom webhooks for more information. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more video tutorials in the future. Happy streaming!